Sometimes it seems like we need the luck of the gods to actually succeed in business. Uh, one of the fundamental problems is some things just don't go to plan. Uh, some things turn out to be unexpected hits. Uh, it's very difficult to know in advance in many industries which ones are going to be the hits, which ones are not. Uh, hence in Hollywood, for example, the old expression, nobody knows. So, of course, if we had divine insight, we would be able to pick in advance which of those uh, projects we take on as part of our portfolio of businesses might be successful. In much of the creative industries, particularly, say, in movies, uh, there is the old expression, the 80-20 rule, that 80% of your profits come from 20% of the projects. The problem is you just never know in advance which 20% it's going to be. So the whole approach with a portfolio is to be looking at uh, a range of promising business enterprises uh, or particular products that you might be developing, services, and hoping that at least one of them is going to be a really big hit, that most of the others break even, and then the ones that turn out to lose money despite all your best efforts, plans, and good ideas, the ones that lose money are uh, not a bigger disaster than the hits are a hit, okay? Now, when we think in terms of a portfolio like this, it also leads to the notion of diversification. You know, if you're trying to diversify the risk, you're not going to, if, for example, you're a Hollywood uh, producer, make all horror movies in one year. You're actually going to have a range of product. But we also need to be very clear about what we're talking about here. Um, Partly it's uh, perhaps a change in tastes, perhaps it's weather. Uh, for example, we mentioned in the, uh, the lecture notes that if you've got a kiosk by the beach, it's a good idea to sell sunscreen and umbrellas, just in case it's a rainy day. Of course, on the sunny day that you'd hope for most of the time, you'll make your money off the sunscreen. But we have to be clear that uh, the diversification element is one aspect of the portfolio approach. The other aspect, which is actually separate, is the nobody knows effect. We all know that it rains some days and, it, and the sun shines some days, okay? So these are known and actually known probabilities. So diversification in a portfolio approach. But the other aspect, where you just simply not know what, going, what is going to be a hit or not, this nobody knows effect, uh, you have to consider that as well in your portfolio. It's actually quite a liberating notion, this notion of a portfolio. Have you ever been really frustrated with yourself that you um, have bought a pair of shoes that really hurt, you know, and uh, why, did, why, did those, why, did, why, why did I do that? Why did I buy those shoes and end up having given to my friends as I did, for example, I paid hundreds of pounds for a pair of Todd's shoes I bought in, uh, in a department store in uh, London, let the guy talk me into buying a half size down and regretted it ever since. Um, we tend to think of the negatives. Remember all the positives, the ones that are a great hit. So if you think of your shopping and your friendships and so many things in portfolio terms, then actually it's much easier to accept the ones that don't work out because all the others are compensating for the ones that have. So life really is a portfolio.